Tissue stem cells have been found in many different tissues, such as brain, spinal cord, cornea, retina, skeletal muscles, deep skin layers, intestine, bone marrow, liver, and pancreas. They play an essential role in replacing old, dead, or damaged cells in the tissue they reside in. For this reason, tissue stem cells are largely used in the clinical practice, to treat blood cancers like leukemia, for example. In case of leukemia, hematopoietic stem cells are used for the treatment. They are collected from the bone marrow of a donor, then isolated and transplanted in the blood of the patient. Hematopoietic stem cells travel with the blood flow. Once they reach the bone marrow, they repopulate it within a few weeks by generating progenitors of red blood cells, white blood cells and platelates. More than 26,000 patients are cured with hematopoietic stem cells in Europe every year. Adult stem cells are also used in regenerative medicine. For instance, in case of extensive burns, skin stem cells can be collected from the patient, grown in laboratory dishes and then transplanted to the patient to replace the damaged skin areas. Another example of regenerative medicine concerns the use of mesenchymal stem cells, which are often harvested from the bone marrow. Several clinical trials are analyzing the safety and the efficacy of mesenchymal stem cells transplantation to repair damaged bones and cartilages. Other trials are studying their role in modulating immune system in autoimmune diseases and in regenerating cardiovascular and nervous systems upon injuries such as heart attacks or strokes. At the moment, around 2,500 clinical trials employing mesenchymal stem cells are ongoing around the world. Adult stem cells are playing a key role in personalized medicine as well. Starting from a tissue biopsy in which adult stem cells are present, it is possible to grow a mini-organ in vitro on laboratory dishes. Mini-organs can be replicated in many copies and different drugs can be tested on each of them. In this way, a specific drug which is affected for a particular disease in a particular patient can be identified. This approach has been used for the first time in 2015 in a patient with cystic fibrosis. Thanks to multiple applications of tissue stem cells in medical fields from cancer therapy to regenerative and personalized medicine, they represent the most commonly used type of stem cells in the clinical practice at the moment.